Good morning everyone. I'm coming to you fresh faced, just woke up kind of thing. I thought I'd walk, I, I thought I'd start the vlog completely realistic because I often feel like vlogs start where it's like this is how I woke up when in reality <laughs> I've already gotten ready, I've sorted my hair. So this is it. I've literally just came down from bed. I have yesterday's mascara on because I didn't take it off last night and I like cry in my sleep. So they go like, um, you know, if you're a person who's ever worn mascara, if you, you know, when you cry and it goes into spikes, that's what one eye is done and the other eye hasn't. My hair is a mess. It uh, is in desperate need of a wash desperate need of a wash but i thought it couldn't be completely realistic we've just got a little man up as you can hear his little tail banging everywhere that's he's sitting getting a stroke off me but hello welcome to a video another video if you are a returning subscriber i am doing a really relaxed day to day really chill i'm giving myself a complete day off because i think with working self-employed it, it always happens where you just convince yourself that you need to work every day you don't deserve a full day off unless you're like on holiday or you're doing something uh especially when you do this job because filming is work but i don't mind it it doesn't really make a difference to me it doesn't feel like work so i often feel like i, I, I don't deserve a day off but if you have watched sunday's video you all know we had a bit of a mental weekend. So we were working Friday to Sunday. So for me, it's different with Jack because Jack was literally at the van every day. But for me, oh, I've just snapped a bit of my nail off. The camera fell off the desktop and I've snapped it when I've caught it. So Friday and Saturday, me and Jack were up cleaning the van. Okay's on a mission to go find Jack, he's not here. But we went up to the van and do a deep clean. It's our holiday left if you're new. Hi, baby. It was just like physical work. It was tiring. And then on Friday night, we went out to the cinema and went for a meal, which is still tiring for me. I know that's how people relax, but it doesn't. <laughs> Oakley keeps knocking it. It's fine normally, but he's... Come over here, baby boy. For me, it's not relaxing it's still tiring and then saturday we were at the van again all day i can't remember what we did saturday night and then yesterday i was literally working all day getting that video done and i was at the gym i only trained like twice last week so three times last week because I didn't have time because the caravan took so long but it was kind of like it was physical work it was three days where it felt like i couldn't relax because i knew we had stuff to do i mentioned it in that vlog but with my adhd I think it's ADHD rather than autism. With my ADHD, if there's something I need to do, I'm constantly on edge. Like I, if I have to, if I have to work the next day for a good amount of time, I still feel like I'm like on shift or like working. There isn't a relaxing. It feels like it's all that. So when I used to work full time, it didn't really feel like I could relax at all unless I had like three days off. But that's how my brain works. So it's just it's been a it's been a like a worky weekend i'm not saying it's more difficult than other people's jobs i'm not implying that at all i'm not applying that at all but sorry i'm just dragging him away from the screen but i am knackered i'm knackered so yeah we're having a nice relaxing day off today i'm not going to do any work i say that i'm going to do whatever i feel like it if i feel like doing some photography work i'll do it i'm just going to do whatever i feel like and that started this morning with having a lovely lie-in. I just slept until I wanted to and then I've lay in bed and watched TikToks and the, the FYP algorithm was just on point this morning. I've seen some really funny TikToks so I'm in a good mood. Just came down and woke little boy up and I'm about to go get some food. I'm going to get my protein bar and I'm probably going to get an energy drink because I am still very tired. <laughs> so yeah jack's away work today unfortunately we didn't because we thought it was just going to be a friday saturday thing we thought he'd have sunday to um relax because he had to go into work this week because he's got a new member of his team starting so he has to be in so he's at work bless him 
<laughs> he's knackered as well so I hope it's going okay hope the excitement of having someone new in his team is kind of like keeping him up but he's away so it's just me and Oakley all day we're gonna relax um and yeah it's gonna I'm hope it's gonna be a nice cozy day and I will go get some food I'm gonna sit I've got Jack's jumper on I've got my pajama shorts still on I've got the blanket and I need to figure out something to watch because I'm still in that freaking limbo of not having anything to watch. I might restart now and then. I don't know if Jack wants to watch that with me. But anyway, this is the intro. I'm going to be so mad when I'm editing this back, doing such a long intro when I look like this. But I wanted it to be realistic. I feel like everybody looks incredible when they wake up and I do leave my mascara on overnight. I forget to take it off and my hair is greasy and... A mess and I have no intention of washing it today because as we've, as we've established on this channel before me clapping my hands made the camera wobble there washing my hair is very very difficult I hate it it feels like a job so we're not washing my hair today I'm gonna dry shampoo it and we're gonna see how it goes it's a little bit later Oakley is doing his snuffle because just want to make sure he's getting enough enrichment today because I don't think I'm gonna be able to take him out so if he decides to do it, you're still being a bit picky with your food, aren't you, baby? Go on, get it. So I can't leave the room. I would like to go up and start getting ready. Go on, okay. Okay. But he is still being a bit iffy with his food. I have put <laughs> dry shampoo in my hair. <laughs> I like to leave it to sit for a few minutes, and I've literally just done it. So I'm going to leave it to sit whilst he is having... Or I'm hoping he's going to have his breakfast and then I'm going to go and wash my face, sort my hair and get ready a bit more. It's like 15, 20 minutes later and he's just not eating. Um, he's literally just sitting. I've tried everything. I've tried saying okay. I've not let him sit because he likes to sit on my feet and I have my feet on the floor. So every time he did it, I was like, no, I'm getting up and then pointing at his food. I'm sitting right next to it, which normally works. We haven't done the snuffle mat in a while. Which is why I was quite hopeful. Because he used to absolutely love Snuffle. And I just... It's upsetting because I don't know what to do. Like, he's literally just... We've done... It, the thing is, we've taken him... I feel like the obvious answer is take him to the vets. But we've took him to the vets and the vets just being... I've mentioned it before how the vets we go to. The guy is just awful. But... And I know you guys have mentioned getting seen by someone else, but we we went back again and we asked about the wetting on the chair thing and we were like, maybe that's all related, maybe he's ill and now he's off his food because he feels so ill. But I don't know if it is an illness. The doctor, the vet doesn't think it's an illness. We've had him on anti-inflammatories in case it was that because he said that the options were we could do exploratory stuff, so like get his bloods done, get scans done, but he was like, but at the end of all of that, we're probably still just gonna put him on anti-inflammatories, so you could just put him on the anti-inflammatories now, because obviously we'd have to pay for all of the exploratory stuff, and then we could end up with the exact same results. So we just put him on the anti-inflammatories, and literally the night he finished them, so he was on a week, he was on them for a week. That night, we let him up on the set day, he wet himself, and he's still not eating his food. It doesn't seem to have helped whatsoever. So, the vet, the vet's just not helping. <laughs> it's pretty light. I'm holding a pillow up because that lightens a bit much. Um, so I just don't know what to do. I, I feel like it's a behavioral thing because normally we can trick him into eating so the methods we've been using at the minute are his feed and ball that you guys have probably seen multiple multiple times or giving it in his bowl sometimes he won't go for his bowl like he so there's a ball b-a-l-l -L, and a bowl which is b-o-w-l i'm going to try sitting on the floor for a bit and see if that helps you eat it and with those sometimes no let's try taking this off thank you with those two, with his ball and his bowl, we can sometimes trick him into doing it and I could like I can make him eat little bits of this. You get it. He'll eat one or two bits of kibble and then just stop. See, like 
and he's hungry because with his ball, with his ball, he's just not pushing it. If I put it on the floor and roll it, he'll eat the bits that are like really dispersed. Okay, get up. You're not sitting on me. No, come on. You need to eat your, eat your food. No, come on. We're not sitting on me. I don't want him to get comfy and think that I'm down here just for cuddles. I want him to eat his food. You'll eat the bits that are like dispersed, but not like the bits that are like in a big, um, like mound of it. And we also do treasure hunts, which he used to love. And you'll go for ones that are really spread out, but then piles of food he just won't eat. Like, no, let me have this. Good boy. No. You eat your food. You can have them back once you've ate. I feel like a bloody parent. I just want them to eat. And I think the next step that we're going to try and do is to try a different flavour. Because the vet was like, sometimes dogs just go off their food. And it's like, but what? What do you mean? Why is that a thing? Why can he just be like, nah, that's it? But we've just bought, the thing is, and I know this is annoying. Like, um kind of selfish on mine and Jack's part. We've just bought him this massive, we buy like, I can't even remember how big it is, it's like 15, it's 15 or more kilo bag of food. No, nope, we're not resting on me. Nope. Nope. Of the, of the, the one that he's normally on. So we don't want to buy another bag because then it's just wasting that food. Like we hate food waste and I know it's dog food but it's still food waste so we don't want that to go to waste so we just want him to eat his food and then the other annoying bit by the way and people get really annoyed with me i know a lot of my subscribers don't care but people get really annoyed with me when i don't wear pants so i am wearing shorts please don't comment again like, wearing your pants me there are bigger problems in this world than me bloody wearing shorts on my own videos anyway what was I saying? Oh, at my mama's. No. So we've told my mama and grandpa that he's not eating his food. But this seems to be become, you know, in those situations where you've got parents and kids and then grand grandparents. And then the parents take the kids and the parents are like, they're not sleeping. They're not sleeping at all. No sleep for us. And then the grandparents have them for the night and the grandparents are like, well, they slept fine with us. Him with his food. No. My mum and grandpa don't believe me that he's not eating his food. They're like, well, he's eating fine with us. No. Why not cuddling? No. Okay. Come on. Eat your food. They don't believe me because every time <laughs> they're like, yeah, he's food fine with us, Sarah. And I'm like, okay, did you give... Because they gave him it in water. So I'm worried that, like, they've spoiled him by giving him basically soup and then he won't eat hard food anymore but I've asked them to stop doing that and then every time I'm like did you give them it in water and they're like just the tiniest the tiniest little bit the, the tiniest little bit and I'm like okay well we, <laughs> and we I know people are probably just thinking well just give them it in water we'll try it it doesn't make it any better and we want them to be able to do enrichment because we can't do any enrichment currently because he won't eat his freaking food and he's still tree motivated it's not like why is he? We think he's going off his streets a little bit as well. It's just, it's awful. Why won't he eat? He wants the food. You can tell he's hungry. When I pick, because this is what, watch him. You'll get excited. When I pick this up to measure his food. See, he wants his food. And he, he gets so, when I pick his bowl up, he's like, oh, and jump in and he wants his bowl. But I pick his bowl up, he's like, oh my God, yes, food. And then he gets the food and he's like, Neh. like, see, he wants it. This is for your food. Your food's there, you silly belly. It's just, it feels like the vet's not taking this seriously. But I think the only option left is to put him on different food. And like, we're gonna keep him on the same food because this is the food that the vet recommended. We're just gonna try and change the flavor, which we didn't want to do, but, because I think the only flavor is, is only other flavor is lamb. I know, like, I feel like there could be two separate issues. It could just be that he's went off the chicken flavour. He does eat it with my grandparents, though. There's also a lot of other dogs at my grandparents, so I don't know if it's just, like, a flock thing. They eat different times, but I don't know if he's just, like, there's other dogs here. I better eat this food before the dogs, the other dogs get it. And then I don't know if maybe... You're staring at me, but you're not there. Eat it. Eat this. Go. 
And then there's the pain issue, which the vet again doesn't want to take seriously. He's just like, well, some dogs are incontinent. And it's like, he's two years old. He's two years old and he's a male. Like the guy was like, the vet, the vet was like, oh, well, it's more common in females, but some dogs are just incontinent. It's a behavioral thing. And it's like, what do you mean? He's wetting himself. He's wetting himself. What? And if it's a behavioral thing, tell me what to do. Vets, this vet does this all the time. He's just like, well, it's behavioral. And then that's it. And I'm like, okay, but then how do I fix that? If you, if, if it's a trainer thing, tell me to go to a trainer. Like, I don't know, you need to eat your food. But I feel like a trainer is just going to be like, yes, yeah, see a vet. <laughs> I don't know what to do, it's so frustrating. I just want him to eat. <sighs> but nothing I do is making him eat. <sighs> he won't even, like, when we're leaving him now, he won't even eat his Kongs. And he loves his Kongs. We put, like, salmon paddy in and he freaking loves fish. Like, he loves fish. Also, um, please don't comment saying put them on raw. We won't put them on raw. I don't know what to do with it. Because, like, I want to go get stuff sorted. But if I leave the room, there's not a chance that he's going to eat. No. There's not a chance that he's going to eat. You won't. Like, we literally, when we leave, we used to do treasure hunts. We have literally left, with his, left the house with his food in his bowl. And he won't even touch that. I just wish they could tell me what's wrong. Anyway, there's a big run for you. I'm gonna go wash my face and get my face sorted and then get some pants on. I have gotten readier, put pants on, battery died. I have put pants on. I'm sure much to the light of all of the men who keep complaining I'm not wearing pants anyway. I have left them in here whilst, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop balancing you on my monitor because it's literally like 10 mil thick so Anyway, I left him in here by himself whilst I sorted myself out and he hasn't ate anything. He was curled up in a ball on his bed, which is lovely, but it's just not what I'm after right now from him. I have sorted my face out, washed it, done like skincare stuff that I do every Monday that I've talked about on another vlog, so I'll not bore you with it again. I don't know what I'm doing now. I literally just caught up on Instagram. I think I just might put something on the TV and then look at holidays again because we still haven't booked for our anniversary holiday because everything is absolutely ridiculously priced so i might do that just until lunch and then after lunch i think i might play on valorant for a bit or what else did i want to do i was so excited for a day off today and i can't even think of anything that i wanted to do i don't know i just mess about i'll probably end up doing like youtube scheduling but i am just gonna find something to watch and chill for a little bit longer i made a mistake i <laughs> I chucked, I picked it up to try and shake some, tra oh, bloody hell, <laughs> to try and shake some out, uh, forgot how full it was and it went absolutely everywhere, there was so much under the cabinet, but yeah, I'm gonna go, he's under there, he's still not ate any of it, which I'm surprised at, I did think that would work, but never mind, I'm gonna go make some lunch now. I'm not sure what I'm having and I'm not going to take you in the kitchen because it's an absolute mess. I do feel okay about it though because I'm looking shiny as heck because the sun is currently like beaten through. But I don't feel bad about it because Jack, like I said, Jack's in work quite a lot this week. So I have a few days where I like have to stay at home to look after this one. So I'm going to have today like a relaxing day and a... Uh, just a chill day and then the other day I'm gonna absolutely blitz the house because I've got clothes everywhere I need to uh, put loads of washing in the kitchen just needs cleaned so I'm not gonna take it in the kitchen because I am a bit embarrassed because of how dirty it is. it's not dirty it's just messy it's not dirty it's just there's, there's crap everywhere isn't there there's stuff everywhere so I'm gonna go make some lunch then get back to watching Paris and James. Uh, yeah. The usual is happening when I'm left alone for a day. I'm starting to spiral, so I'm getting my headphones and putting some happy music on. <laughs> Food is done. I'm trying something new. So I've got chicken sausages, eggs, apple, and a bagel. I've gave Oakley a Kong, see whether he actually goes for it, because he has not went for the food. But we've both got food. 
So Oakley just chucked his Kong over here and he won't walk on the food. <laughs> he literally looked at it, started stepping towards the food, accidentally stepped on one and like jumped back and he won't go near it because he's scared of the food. So I don't think he's just gone off his food. He just, he won't touch it. Anyway, I have finished my lunch. I quite enjoyed it. I like chicken sausages. I you see them all the time when I had my ED and I forgot how much I like them. So I might, it might, it might be a new food option for me, which is exciting. I now, I'm gonna get a, do I get a Cadbury's yogurt or do I get a Kinder? I might get a Kinder and save the Cadbury's yogurt for later. I don't know. I, so I remembered the things that I wanted to do today. I wanted to read for a bit because I've just gone completely off my reading for the last like month. It's been so strange, so strange. I got proper into it, reading during the day. And recently I haven't even been reading at night. I think it went off the rails <laughs> when me and Jack got ill because we just both were so tired come like bedtime. So we just went straight to sleep rather than reading before bed. And I've just never got back into the habit. So I wanted to read today. And I said I wanted to go on Valorant or Skyrim. And I think I'm going to go on Skyrim for a little bit because I, like I say, I do want to read. But I just feel like I'm in the type of mood right now where if I start to read, I'm not going to carry on doing it. I feel like I'm going to get distracted dead easy. It's not going to relax me. It's going to feel like a task that I've got to like stay focused on so i think i'm gonna go on skyrim for a little bit enjoy my time on there and then i might read a little bit later on i was just taking a break and i went on instagram and i have seen that forestry england has shared one of my posts on their feed obviously with consent they asked me first but I, I don't know why, but I'm not getting messages through properly on Instagram at the minute. It's just horrific. They just don't come through. I don't get notified. They're sometimes hidden in a weird ass folder. Like it's just not, it's not going the way it should be for a messaging platform, but not like Instagram, but like their message inside of it. And I was waiting for a reply off them and they've just posted it there. and. It's my first feature on my travel account, which is super excited. If you don't know who Forestry England are, they are the people who own like a whole bunch of forests <laughs> across the UK. So up here there's like Kielder, Hampstead, Swarland, Rothbury, Simonside. There's loads, there's loads of them all over the UK. And they just shared one of my Kielder photos which is super exciting because they've got something like 75,000 followers and they've shared my picture with credit so I'm absolutely buzzing. It's my first ever feature on that account because I'm struggling to grow it. I only have like 150 followers on it and I'm super proud of my images like I'm super proud of my photos that I put on there so it's just taken time because I'm not posting reels because I'm not, videography is not my type of content because I have two very different jobs, photography and videography. And I dabble because obviously I do this, so I know editing, but videography is just a whole other ball game. And I have been, ever since getting this camera actually, I've been researching it a lot more and trying to learn, but it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of learning, a lot of equipment. It's, it's expensive. So for, I, I still want photography to be my thing, but obviously Instagram doesn't like that at the minute. So I don't think it's pushing my content very well at all. The people who like my stuff, stuff, I don't know why I keep swapping my th and my th around. The people who like my stuff tend to be the follow my followers, which tend to be people I know or subscribers or followers that I recognize have came from YouTube or other photographers that I think are just like stalking the hashtags to try and get engagement back on their profile, if that makes sense, rather than people who are actually interested in photography. So it's just not pushing things. And now, I don't know if you guys have seen, right? But Instagram is going to be putting in the paid verification thing, like what Twitter did. 
and the thing one of the things that comes with the paid verification is more reach which is more like uh, instagram will push your content more which is bloody ridiculous because it means now that if you're not paying you're not going to get the reach because i don't think they'll just push the content more i think they'll make everybody else's reach rubbish and they'll just push the paid verified users and i get that i get that it means that like it's like government id verified type thing so it is the actual person but it also means people who are just starting out who aren't making any money off photography me who can't afford to verify their instagram we aren't going to get our content pushed just because we can't afford it like it's ridiculous like i can't believe twitter implemented it no, well i can because it's bloody musk but i can't believe instagram's doing it it's so elitist it's so it's it's ridiculous because some people can't afford to pay for a verification tick and some people want to grow their account with photos. <laughs> it's not just me, I'm mad for. Uh, a few other people that I've follow on my travel account have posted about it. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I can't believe it's being implemented. So it's gonna be even harder to grow my following on that account now, which sucks. Because I love that account, I love my photography. But it is what it is, but it's so exciting that Forestry England have shared that. They shared it, let's have a look. They shared it 13 minutes ago and it's got 48 likes. <laughs> That's more likes than I got on my account, I think on mine, that post, because I posted that on, when did I post it? Five days ago. I got 28 likes on my account. <laughs> They've already got more likes than what I did. But never mind. that's the whole point. I hope, I hope a few people follow me for it. It's just annoying because they didn't ask me for the image, so the image isn't that great quality. That's the message I was waiting for. Because I asked them how it would work, and they messaged me back two hours ago saying they'll just post it. And then I was going to be like, well, I'll send you the image so it's high quality, but because I didn't get the notification, I didn't have the chance to send them the image, so I think they've just screenshotted my image. And it's not great quality, but... Hopefully people will click onto my profile and see the high quality version, but it's so excited. This is it, by the way. It, um, obviously, the lighting's going to be wrong, so go look at the profile. But it was like moss through the trees at Kielda. <laughs> it's so exciting. I'm going to be refreshing this all night now. I'm sorry the lighting's crap, but Jack's home. <laughs> okay. Oh, typical. Try and pump them again. Wow. Can you believe it? What's all this? What's all this? Look. He didn't go straight away to eat it, but Jack went over and saw the chair and then he went over and ate his food. This dog. I need a cat, so someone's on my side. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyway, Jack's home. We've just been sitting catching up because you've had a busy day, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Exciting day. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. You feel bad? Yeah, I'm tired. Oh. My throat does hurt, and I feel like my muscles are aching. Because you've been talking all day? Yeah. Yeah. Two more days of it. <laughs> there we go, just fixing the white balance. Uh, but yeah, he is eating. But we've just been chatting for like, how long have you been? Oh, like an hour. Half seven. Yeah, like an hour. Then. I was about to have a snack. Yeah. It's hot. What have we been doing? Jack. Jack, I thought I was about to have a snack. It's tea time? Yeah. I don't want tea. <laughs> I've done nothing. I was... Oh. I've done nothing today. But not nothing in a good way. I've done nothing. God, waste some time. Just chatting. Three, 
of days of working. It's not home. chill though, I've done nothing. That's chilling. <laughs> That's what I mean, not in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of believe it's half seven. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, he's eating his tea now. That's his tea. He's Thanks. not at breakfast. <laughs> We were dancing a few fighters there because the sound will definitely not have been in. <laughs> I had a, uh, I don't know. Meltdown, breakdown. <laughs> was it as far as a meltdown? I don't think so. I mean, you didn't really melt it down at the sun, so. <laughs> <laughs> Food is still very difficult. I'm sorry if you're sick of hearing it. I'm sick of going through it. I'm hating all food at the minute and I'm sick of it. I love food. <laughs> I want to enjoy it. I couldn't imagine any food going in my mouth oh. and not wanting to throw up there. I don't want chicken. I didn't want <laughs> thinking about it. It's just like, oh, nah. So half an hour, took half an hour. Yeah. Figure out something. Jack's making me pancakes because that was the only thing that I didn't feel sick at. I don't particularly want them, <laughs> but you don't have any on pancake day, so... Yeah, I didn't have any on pancake day. Uh, and the thought of them isn't making me want to be sick. So that's enough for me. I think it literally would have... And if, if I hadn't thought of pancakes, uh, I think it would have ended in me just not eating. <laughs> so having pancakes. Jack's made me one that's literally a cake. It's it that thick. It's too thick, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to have lemon and sugar, possibly Nutella. I pointed at the salt. I'm not eating that, I promise. This is it. I'm having um, rock salt. <laughs> I might put a kinder in. Oh. One of them. Cream egg in one of them. I know, I thought about that, but it didn't work very well last time we tried to do it. So, pancakes and nachos. <laughs> what an odd mix, but... Jack's neurotypical, so he can eat whatever he wants, whatever he wants. These are so. quite hard. Like, like they've got a crisp on them. Well, yeah, crepes, pancakes. Yeah, but I crepes want to be really soft. Well, no, they're crispy. Just a bit like... They're crispy. Okay, that will look okay. I don't know a bit longer. Uh, that looks okay, I think. I have my pancakes, and now we're gonna watch Last of Us. Hopefully, it's a um, happy episode. <laughs> you are mistaken. <laughs> it is now the next day. I am coming to finish off this video. I'm not even sure if this video is gonna get uploaded because. Yes, it just didn't go to plan whatsoever. I kind of want to upload it because I want it to be realistic. Like, I feel like this happens to a lot of people, especially ADHD people, where you have this plan for the day and then nothing goes right. <laughs> Not even the point where, like, things go wrong. It's just you don't do the stuff that you wanted to do. I didn't do anything yesterday. Like, I literally sat on my phone until lunch, had lunch, then played on Skyrim, and then because Jack came back later than he was like planning on it. I just played on Skyrim until he got home and then we talked for an hour and then I had the freaking meltdown about food. And then watched Last of Us. The episode of Last of Us was quite, it was all right. It's probably my least favorite episode from the whole season so far. It's the one um, based on Oh god, I can't remember what the DLC is called. It's the one with Ellie's backstory. And I was just so, so on edge the entire way through because I knew what was happening. So I was so on edge. I was so, like, literally, I had a huge, like, knot in my stomach the entire time. Felt sick. I was like, something's going to pop up. And then it just kind of felt anticlimactic that it was just one infected and we didn't see the, like... The, I don't know, the climax of it, I, and I know that was on purpose, I get it. It was artistically good to, for us to remember Riley, I think the name was, Riley not being bit, that type of thing. But I was just really intrigued to see how Ellie got with the Fireflies and I'm really, I was really sad that it didn't happen and also I was on edge for nothing because it wasn't that big of a jump scare. So... 
it was probably my least favourite episode but the gay joy in it was absolutely incredible. I was so excited and I think Bella Ramsey just did an amazing job of portraying the gay angst. <laughs> just looking at a girl and just being like I love you but I don't even know if you're into that it was Bella Ramsey is doing an incredible job I think they're brilliant anyway I'm sure that was interesting if you don't watch Last of Us if you don't you should watch it because it's incredible but yeah I just thought this was a really realistic vlog of me trying to have a nice relaxing day off and then not so I'm gonna finish it here uh, after we watched Last of Us, we watched an episode of Supernatural because we've re started re-watching Supernatural because we finished down in. I was very sad that we finished down in. Had like two weeks of being really, really sad because we didn't have like a comfort show. And then we were like, should we just chuck Supernatural on whilst we think of something to watch? And then I became obsessed with Supernatural again. So if this vlog doesn't prove to people that I have ADHD, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog or you found it relatable, please give it a like. I feel like be saying if you enjoyed it, give it a like might be a little bit of a push because nothing happened. But if you found it relatable or just found it useful, <laughs> please give it a like. Comment if you do a similar thing. Like, uh, I don't know, I was going to say comment if you've got any useful strategies, but... I don't feel like they work for me. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you're enjoying content at the minute. If not, let me know what you want to see. But I shall hopefully see you in another video that's a little bit more exciting. <laughs> okay, bye.